Hello everyone, and welcome back to Potted Plant Entertainment. So, I just want to do another DVD update. It is really late right now. It's 1 a.m. I'm really tired. But I have a DVD update I gotta get out of the way, so let's go ahead and do this. So, I went to a 7-Eleven the other night, and I found this for five bucks. So, you know I copped this real quick. It is Natural Born Killers Steelbook. Although, I don't think this is steel. I think this is plastic. But still. Um, yeah, so let me pop this off, and I want to talk to you all a little bit about this. So here's the cover right here. Really, really nice. Um, in case you're wondering, no, I... Oh, I think I... Oh, I almost cut myself with it. I have not seen this movie yet. That's why I bought it. So I, I will be watching this soon for the first time. Uh, the back of this has some really nice artwork as well. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's got some nice... Art. <laughs> that's the my phone in the reflection sorry uh nice artwork here as well and then we'll open up this comes with the theatrical and the director's cut obviously i'm gonna watch the director's cut um and there's the inside yeah really nice really nice i really like this um i'm excited to watch the movie um i don't know if i should keep this part or throw it away but uh let me know let me know what you do in the comments with this because i don't normally buy steel books but i know it always comes with this should i keep this or just pitch it I, I really don't know next one i got here this is not part of the update <laughs> this needs to go back here actually i'm gonna go ahead and put that there uh next one i got here is dr sleep now i did not go see this in theaters because uh i hadn't seen the shining yet when it came out i'm not done with this i'm an hour and a half into it and this is garbage, and I hate it. I hate this so much. This is so bad. I can't wait for it to be over. I'm not done with it yet, but when I am done with it, ugh, this is so bad. I hate this so much. Now, this next movie, this is probably going to surprise people that I haven't seen it. This is one of those movies that everyone's seen that, for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten around to. It's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. If you can believe it, I've never seen this movie. This just wasn't one of the uh, movies that my parents showed me growing up. Um, yeah, I, I didn't grow up on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, oddly enough. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm the only one, too. But, yeah, I didn't grow up on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, but now I'm going to watch it for the first time. I'm excited to do it. Uh, now, these next two I have seen these already. I just didn't own them until now. I got Forrest Gump. Of course, I've seen Forrest Gump. I've seen it a couple of times. It's a masterpiece I, I love and adore Forrest Gump um it's been a long time since I've seen it though it's been several years so I, I don't think I've seen it since probably like my early teenage years yeah it's been a while since I've watched this so I'm excited to watch it again um and the last one I got here is Rush Hour Triple Pack I got all three of the Rush Hour movies here I've seen all three of them I like all three of them especially the first two Rush okay I don't know how popular of an opinion this is, but Rush Hour 2 is just as good as Rush Hour 1. Do you agree with that? Let me know in the comments, because I feel like I've heard other people say that before. I don't think I'm alone on that. I, Rush Hour 3 is just as good as Rush Hour 1. Rush Hour... No, sorry. Rush Hour 2 is just as good as Rush Hour 1. Rush Hour 3 is fine. I don't hate it. I like it, um, but it's not great. Um, but I really like the first two. Um, and I, I think the first and second one are, like, equals, honestly, in my opinion. Um... Again, I don't know how popular of an opinion that is, but that is my opinion. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Rush Hour trilogy. I'm really curious to know. And let me know what you think of Dr. Sleep, because, again, I'm an hour and a half into it. It's two and a half hours, and I freaking hate it, and I can't wait for it to be over. Um, I think it's a disgrace to The Shining, and it shouldn't exist. It's really awful. Um, but, yeah, that's my update. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pirate Player Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave movie review suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr at Pirate Player Entertainment for channel updates and written movie reviews and much love.